Ah, V, B, N, The Witch, Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions. Great personality profiles, great professional wrestling video blogs, great sports video blogs, great MBTA video blogs, and a whole lot more. Collection of my work goes back to June of 2014. On various social media websites, RVBN, the only video blog on the internet that, that matters. Time now is 7.14 in the morning, Bellica, Massachusetts. It's Friday, June 2nd, and it's, and it's about 55 degrees out. Sunny skies, could be some rain showers in the afternoon. Some news to report on the RVBN News. Why do, 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 do. Baltimore Orioles beat Boston Red Sox by a score of 7 5 last night. These two teams play again at Oriole Park in Camden Yards. Also, the Golden State Warriors beat the Cleveland Cavaliers by a score of 113 91 last night to go up 1 0 in the series for the NBA Finals. Game 2 Sunday night on ABC. Before that, there's going to be Jimmy Kimball live at the NBA Finals and NBA Countdown hosted by Michelle Bido, who has the nicest legs in ESPN. It ranks right up there with Julie Bratton's legs and Molly Rose Blunt's legs. And it's Happy National Donut Day. Get a free donut at Dunkin' Donuts today when you purchase any beverage. And it's today is International Sex Workers Day. And that's about it on news from the RVB and news. Why do, 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 do. Be back in flash with my first video blog subject of the day personality profile. Today's personality profile will be all about former NHL goaltender Kurt McLean. But first, hear this. Get out! You're so sweet because they're cute. The more the merrier, go find something to do. I know, I know, I know. I'm doing good. I don't care about game shows. Are you writing a book? Great quote only in an RVBN. Time now, 716 in Morning Bellic, Massachusetts. I'm back. My first video blood subject of the day for Friday, um, June 2nd, 2017 is my personality profile. Today's personality profile is about former NHL goaltender Kurt McClain. Kurt played 17 seasons in the NHL as a goaltender, mainly for the Vancouver Canucks. He and he had some great years with the Canucks. Kurt was born and he grew up on, on Ontario, Canada. He is of Irish and Scottish descent. And when he was growing up, his role model was Hockey Hall of Famer Bernie Perrant. And he wanted to play goaltender. And he did for when he was a youngster. And then he played for minor junior teams in the Metro Toronto League. And the Toshana Generals. He was a pretty good goaltender. He was drafted by the New Jersey Devils in the 6th round, 107th all pick in 1984. He spent some time in the minor leagues. He actually played for the New Jersey Devils in 1986-1987, but he had a cup of coffee from, with them, that meaning that he played an unlimited amount of games. He was traded to the Canucks in 1987, and he spent the majority of his career with the Canucks. He also played for the Hurricanes, Panthers, and Rangers to round out his career. And and Kurt put up some very impressive stats. Six seasons, he had 20 more wins. 11 seasons, he played 2,000 2, minutes for goaltender. Five seasons, he had a goal against average of three. Three seasons, his save percentage was over 900. Um, one time, he had five shutouts. And two times, he made the All-Star team. And he was a finalist for the Vesna Trophy in 1989. And again, in 1992, he played on some great Canucks teams, especially in 1994, when... They went to the cup finals and went to game seven against the New York Rangers. And he played in two. Um, he made the second all-star team for the NHL postseason one time. 
and he led the NHL in wins in 1992 with 38, and that was the same year he led the NHL in shutouts with five, which that's a kind of a low total, but that was back then when it was, most of the offense was playing. Kirk continued to be a good goaltender, but the Canucks were rebuilding by the late 90s, and he bounced around with the Hurricanes, Panthers, and Rangers, basically in backup roles, retiring at, at the end of the 2001 season. His career stats were 245 wins, 262 losses, 72 ties, 35,090 minutes played, and 8.87 save percentage, 22 shutouts, and a 3 0.26 goals against average. In the playoffs, he was 34 and 34. He played 4,188 minutes, a 2.84 goals against average, six shots, and a 907 save percentage. After Kurt retired from the NHL, he was a goaltender coach for some minor hockey hockey teams affiliated with NHL. And um Kurt owns a junior team in in the British Columbia Junior Hockey League. He settled in the, in the Vancouver area, and he actually owns a restaurant in Vancouver called McLean's. He is part of the Canucks Ring of Honor for the legendary players. He is an member of the Vancouver Canucks Alumni Association, meaning that they appear at charity functions and he also plays in the Alumni Association games against um, firefighters and police officers in charity games to raise money for Vancouver, British Columbia. Hell yeah. And Kurt Stats does not warrant Hall of Fame because he has a losing record. And they don't put Hall of Fame goaltenders with losing records. And very surprised that number one's not hanging from the rafters at Rogers Arena. I uh, know, at Rogers Place. Because it was one of the best Canucks goaltenders of all time. And that's about it on him. I'll be back later. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus with two more video blogs for your entertainment. First video blog will be about the butcher's shop meet again in Bellica, Massachusetts and Westford, Massachusetts. And the third and final video blog of the night will be about top ten lists of everything and anything. Tomorrow, today's top ten list is the top ten greatest TV woman news anchors of all time. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Bunning guy. Molly was blood. WCCO Oxen has nice legs. Elizabeth Hot, so, so stunning. She's best. Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome. Amy Linda Church of WPIX Channel. I love New York. Such a rocking cougar. She's got the best legs in New York City. Bun on. Bobby gives us ABC 11. Has a sweet southern accent. Best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. And Len Claire, WHA Channel 7 Boston. Has the best legs in Boston. Have a good day. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Bye.